okay, cool. So uh, as Ricardo said, I'm the founder of this open source project, Gatsby.js, which is a newfangled uh, React-based website framework. And here's kind of our motto, sorts, build fast sites faster. And also working on building a startup, uh, do developer tools uh, uh, around uh, Gatsby. So um, we kind of see, my co-founder, we kind of see ourselves in the middle of a tool revolution, uh, learning how to make the web fast again. Uh, the web is you know, 15, 20 years old, and tons of things, of course, have changed since it started. And we think Gatsby is an important part of that. Most of the web is running on you know, decade plus year old technology. We have WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Magento, et cetera. And they don't you know, inspire a lot of love oftentimes. Um, and they don't tend to be fast in today's age. They are mostly built for desktops on reliable network, you know, kind of wired connections. And now we're all carrying around the smartphones in our pocket who are often on very poor connections. And they don't really bridge that, uh, that, that, that kind of generational divide uh, for the internet very well. But they still have like a ton of momentum and uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, yeah, anyways, because just all the, you know, the, all the technology, all the companies and industry and in, in, in other parts of the ecosystem that are built around these tools. And so Gatsby, we think, is, can challenge all this. Um, it, Gatsby's kind of a synthesis of a lot of the advancements in kind of the app world uh, with like React and GraphQL and Webpack and other technologies like that. And also the progressive web app community. Um, so, you know, offering new technologies and techniques like preloading, um, advanced caching with service workers, uh, static sites, CDNs, offline access, and so forth. And Gatsby's really cool because it has a really nice kind of like migration path from your existing backends, whether it be WordPress or whatever, to you know getting taking advantage of these like new modern technologies. Where Gatsby, you can have what's called source plugins that hook to APIs of you know existing CMSs and like new CMSs, of course, like Contentful. So you can like take your existing WordPress site and add like the Gatsby source uh, WordPress plugin, and then pull out data, you know, your post. Um, your pages, you know, user data, et cetera, et cetera, and rebuild your site using you know, modern React web, uh, React components and so forth. So uh, our startup, it's, uh, our goal is to kind of like make this scale to the enterprise. Um, so stuff like shareable previews, you know, really fast incremental builds, uh, private component libraries. Um, we think that it, it's already for many classes of websites to, it's much easier to rebuild your site in Gatsby versus you know, uh, something like WordPress, um, and they'll soon be far easier to do than Gatsby. So um, that's kind of short intro. So yeah, so this is our website. And so one of the big things about Gatsby is it just, you know, is like really fast by default. And so like you click around a site and like page transitions are almost immediate. Um, and this is because like once Gatsby loads, it basically turns into a web app at that point, and it has like React running in the client, and it pulls in data and code as necessary for other pages um, that are around like the initial page you land on. So you land on a page and like you, you know it has all these links to other stuff, and it pulls them in immediately. So this is kind of fun. Uh, React, React's website just was uh, relaunched um, built on Gatsby. And so, same sort of thing, you know, you're clicking around and it's almost instantaneous. Um, and so both of these websites, they're like just built from React components and Markdown for the most part. Um, but we have a bunch of, so if you go to the GitHub repo, so here there's uh, an examples directory we have like a bunch of websites. Uh, and these are all completely, if you clone the repo, you can just like go into any of these directories and install the dependencies and start playing around with stuff. Um, we also host these. So if you go to like word, using wordpress.gatsbyjs.org. So this is a Gatsby website, which is again, you know, just React components. Um, but 
all the data is being pulled from WordPress. So like this is a page, and you click on it, and then boom, lots of Latin. It's cool. And then like you know, it has like the date, uh, category tag, and you click in here, and it has you know uh, like images brought in, which so they're actually like downloaded by Gatsby from WordPress, and then you can do like recite, like create responsive images and so forth here. And another one will like jump to the hero of the night, the contentful example sites. And so again, it's all React components, but all the data is from uh, contentful. And so this is a so this is this is the default. Contentful setup, right? Like this store thing. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so it has you know, in so it supports localization. It supports the image API. Uh, basically everything that Contentful does, it, it it's supported here. So you know, you like click on here and you like see that, and you know, you go to the toys page. That was not very interesting. What's one with more? Uh, yeah, Home Kitchen I think has a few more. Anyways, so you can build. You know, pretty sophisticated sites really easily uh, using these things. And then, like the image API, um, you can like do resize. You can automatically create responsive, uh, responsive uh, images like using like source set support and so forth. Um, yeah. So I was going to show you, you know, dive around kind of like a live demo of how the site works, but that will turn into homework. You can uh, play with it at home. But I will jump a bit into the code just to give you a taste of how this looks. So this is the, the site. And every site has package.json, which if you've done anything with Node.js, is very familiar. Um, and there's a variety of dependencies that are Gatsby specific. So like the Gatsby one, like a Gatsby link, which is like a React component. Um, there's various plugins that you can add. And then this is the main one that, well, these two right here. Uh, so Gatsby source contentful, it like syncs data down through the, uh, through the contentful API. Um, and then also you need Gatsby transformer remark because that automatically does the markdown to HTML uh, transformation. So you don't have to worry about that. You, you just uh, get that. Um, and then there's like a config file where you set things up you know, with your options for space ID and access token. And then there's, let me bump that up again. Anyways, and then there's this uh, source directory, which um, you have layouts. And th these are all just React components. So this one's uh, just kind of like the, the site-wide kind of layout uh, for like headers and footers and stuff like that. Um, then you have like a templates directory. So like, Uh, yeah, so each one of these product pages, for example, um, you have this product template, and then, you know, if you've worked with React, it should be very familiar looking. Um, who's here has used GraphQL? Okay, a few of you, yeah. So that's another interesting thing about Gatsby is that all the data uh, kind of querying it within your the app you're building is done with GraphQL. And so these pages have, um, anyways, you can see that you're like, you're querying contentful product, which is like the content type, and then like pulling out you know, the product name, you know, stuff, the images, uh, brand, and so forth. Um, yeah. And uh, so this is for all the product pages. And then you also have standalone pages, like so. So this is like the front page. Um, anyways, just kind of normal JSX React stuff. Like Netlify is like a really good option for this. And anyways, and it's really straightforward to kind of set that up with them. So so Gatsby is kind of unique in that, uh, and, and a lot of times when you're building websites, it's kind of pretty bare bones. And making sure that it runs really fast is uh, kind of up to you, which you know may or may not work out well, um, depending on how much experience you have. But 
the fun thing about Gatsby is that like performance isn't optional, it's built in. Um, Gatsby does a lot to make kind of like automatic performance optimizations for your site. Uh, so as like a static site generator, it can like examine all your pages and how things are like interlinked and so forth and do optimizations for that. Um, so stuff like, you know, inlining critical CSS, uh, doing link preload, uh, prefetching, uh, needed resources and so forth. So kind of the idea is that it's like use Gatsby and it's really hard for you not to build a really fast site. And uh, so kind of, yeah, kind of like how I'm th like thinking about it is like it's a website compiler more than a website framework. Um, so if you're familiar with like compilers and you know from programming, it's like you give it source code and it get you know and it kind of like optimizes your code automatically and turns out like the best possible version of that code. And so that's what Gatsby tries to do too, is that you give it the source for your website and the source data for your website, the source code and source data, and then it turns out a the fastest site possible. Um, so yeah, that's about all I got.